Welcome to the Vodacall Polycom end user training video. Our hope here is to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had, the Vodacall experience. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Vodacall user guide for your phone and the Vodacall voicemail user guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at www.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like holding a call, transferring, conferencing, voicemail setup, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that if not practiced can have an effect on your customer and client experience when they are calling you. The key to your new phone is the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone. These are the primary buttons that allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features and they will change depending on if you are idle, if you are receiving a call, or if you're on a call. The More key will grant you additional features not on the main screen. The VVX also has fix buttons for voicemail, transfer, and hold, as well as additional soft keys that can be used for speed dials. So let's practice together, but first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the quick user guide. So let's do this now. Welcome to your Compilot voice portal. Please enter your passcode, then... Enter the default passcode. Before you can use your voice portal, you must change your passcode and record your... Then enter your new passcode. In this case, we'll use 3699. Please enter your new passcode again, then press... Passcode has been changed successfully. Please start recording your personalized name after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Demo phone. Thank you. Your name has been recorded. If you are satisfied with your name recording, press the star key. To re-record your name, you are now ready to use your voice portal. To access your voice mailbox, press 1. To record your name, press 3. To change your passcode, press 8. To exit the voice portal, press 9. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is now set up. Callers will hear, Demo phone. Is not available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Should you want to record a personalized greeting, then continue on, press 1, to access your mailbox when prompted. Press three to record your no answer greeting. Listen to the prompts and record your greeting. To access your voice mailbox, press one. To record, you have one new message in your mailbox. To listen to your messages, press one. To change your mailbox busy greeting, press two. To change your mailbox no answer greeting, press three. To compose and to record a new no answer greeting, Press 1. To play the current greeting, please start recording after the tone. To end recording, press the pound key. You've reached the demo phone. We are unavailable right now. Please leave a message. Thank you. Thank you. Your greeting has been recorded. Listen to your prompts and record the greeting. Your mailbox is now set up, and you're ready to make your first call. To place an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you wish to reach then press the dial key. Depending on the model type, this could be a soft key or fix button on the set. To end the call, press the end call soft key. To make an external call, simply start dialing the number or lift the handset first and begin to dial. The new system does require all 10 digits to complete the call. You do not need to dial a nine or a one to complete. If you make a mistake, you can hit the back soft key. Make a mistake. Hit the back soft key, continue dialing, and then press dial to send the call through. Press end call to end the call. To answer a call, when a call rings in on your phone, you can either press answer, reject the call, 
or forward the call to somewhere else. In this case, you can either lift the handset or press answer. To end the call, press end. While on a first call, if a second call comes in and you wish to answer it, you'll see the call come in on the screen alerting you who it is. If you reject the call, they'll go to your voicemail. If you click answer, you will then answer the call. You'll see now that the calls are stacked. The first call you were on is at the bottom, which is demo user two. Demo user three is now at the top. That is the call you are currently on. To toggle between them, you can use your arrow keys and highlight the call you wish to choose. In this particular case, I was speaking to demo user two. I was waiting for the call from demo user three. So I will actually tell them, could you hold on for just a moment? Highlight the call I was on, hit resume, which returns demo user three, which is the new call, back to the bottom and puts them on hold. I'm now speaking to the first person I was on the call with. I tell them I was waiting for this call. I end my call and I resume with the new caller. Let's do that one more time. In this case, the users will be swapped. Demo user three is the call that I am on. A call comes in from demo user two. I see that call come in on the screen. I choose to answer it. Demo user two is now the user I'm on. Demo user three has been moved to the bottom. I wish to speak to demo user two, so I put them on hold. Highlight the first call I was on, hit resume. I need to take this phone call, I'll call you back shortly. I end that call, and then resume the call with the new party. To end the call, hit end call. Now let's place a call on hold. Call comes in, we answer that call. There are two ways to place a call on hold. You can use your fixed hold button, which is down in the bottom left hand corner, or your hold soft key. As you can see here, they're also interchangeable. So we put the call on hold, that button now changes to resume, or we can resume the call down here. To end the call, press end. When you are on a call and you wish to transfer, there are two ways to do that. The first is called a blind transfer, and we'll send the caller directly to the person that you wish to transfer the call to without you having to speak to them first. In this case, we'll press transfer, then we press blind, and then we enter in the extension we wish to transfer to. Press send, and you'll see the call is now gone. Okay. The other way to transfer is if while you're on a call, you press transfer again. This is an assisted transfer. So what we'll do is we'll send the call through. The second party answers the call. And now we're in a position to talk to them, announce who the call is for. I have a call from Jim on the phone for you. If they would like to take the call, then you can press transfer and that will complete the call. If you hit cancel, you return back to speaking to the original caller. In this particular case, we didn't want to take that call. So now we say to that person, would you like to be transferred to their voicemail or something along those lines? So again, we're on a call with somebody. We press transfer. We dial the extension of the person they wish to speak to and hit send. We then have a conversation with that person. If they said they don't want the call, we would hit cancel. Or in this case, what we'll do is complete the transfer by hitting transfer. If you're not on your speakerphone and you're on your handset, all you could do is press put your handset down and that would transfer the call as well. The last way to transfer a call is to send a call to voicemail. This is typically done if you know the person's not at their desk, if you know they're out, or potentially you've tried to transfer a call to them and they've decided they didn't want to take it. So when a call comes in, you answer that call. Then what we'll do is we'll press the more key and hit the transfer to VM or transfer to voicemail key. We'll then enter the extension that the call is for and hit enter. Your call has been transferred. Thank you. You'll see the call is now gone from the screen and that call has been transferred. The last way to move a call around an organization is to use something called park. Park is a global hold. Or in other words, you can park a call from your phone and someone can pick it up anywhere in the organization that they want as long as they know where the call is parked. Traditionally, we recommend that people park calls to the person it's for. Therefore, anyone notified that they'll be receiving a call that's parked will know exactly where to pick it up. And no one will pick up a park call that's not for them. In this case, a call comes in and we answer the call. What we'll do is we decide that calls for extension 303. 
So we hit more. We hit more again. And we hit the park key. The system would like to know where we'd like to park the call, so we enter in the extension number. Hit enter. Your call has been parked. Thank you. Now that we've parked that call, we can go to any phone inside the organization and retrieve that call using the park retrieve key, which can be accessed by hitting more and then park retrieve. Imagine this is another phone. We hit the park retrieve key. We enter in the extension the call is parked at and we hit enter. You'll see we now have that call back. This is a great way to move calls through the organization when you don't know where the person is and you have to either get up and find them or alternatively page them. Now let's move on to making a conference call. You can have two parties besides yourself on a call. They can either be internal or external numbers. Once you have the first party on the line, you'll hit your more key and hit conference and dial the other person that you wish to have on the line. In this case, we'll make it an internal call. We speak to the second person, we hit the more key again, and we hit conference. You'll see now that I show both parties on the phone. I also have a manage key. If I hit my manage key, it does allow me to toggle through the calls of the people that I'm on with. It also allows me to mute them, hold them, or remove them from the conference call. These can be useful if somebody's either leaving the conference call and you wish to remove them, or if potentially somebody is driving down the highway and you can hear a lot of noise, you might mute that user so that the other two people can talk and they can still listen. In this case, what I'll do is I'll remove this caller. You'll see that I'm returned to the other call. I wrap up with them and I end the call. Let's do that one more time. First call comes in and we answer it. We hit our more key. We hit conference. We dial the other party that we wish to speak with. And we then hit more and conference them together. We now show those two parties on the call. If we hit end call, it would drop everybody. If we put hold, it would put both parties on hold. In this case, we'll manage because we're deciding that we want to get rid of the first person that we spoke with. So we hit manage and remove. And we're talking to the second person. When we wrap up with them, hit end call. Now let's look at some of the other buttons on your phone. One of the most important set of buttons that you'll see is your round dial pad. This is a way to access your call logs. If we hit the down arrow key, it will access our missed calls, and we can scroll through those. Hit the main house button or the main menu button twice to return to the main menu. Hit the right arrow key, it shows you your placed calls. These are all the people that you've called recently. If you wish to dial from any of your call logs, you can by highlighting the call and hitting dial. Again, press the home button twice to get back. Hit your left arrow key, and that shows you your received calls. Anyone who's called you recently and you've actually spoken with. Anyone who you didn't speak with would be in your missed calls. And again, we can highlight a user, hit dial, and call them. You can also save calls that are called from your call log. Come down in. This is somebody, demo user three is someone you speak to a lot. You hit the info key. Once you hit the info key, you'll see you get the option to save the call. Hit save. Once you hit edit, you can edit their name, first name, last name. Their contact would be their number that you wish to call them at. If you wanted to change it from an internal extension to an external phone number, you could edit that here. As you scroll down, you'll see a few other things. The more important of them would be favorite index. If you come up and highlight that and you enter a number, it will save that as a favorite. You'll see the star come up next to their name. Once you've done that and you return to your home key, you'll see that they've been added as a speed dial on your phone. That's the way that you can easily add people to your speed dials. On this phone, you have the option to add five additional people to your speed dials. If you wish to go to the directory another way, you could hit your home key, come over to directories, and take a look at your contact directories, or in this case, your favorites. You'll see here, there we see demo user. If we hit info, we can edit that information. Press the home key to return. From the home key, you can also access your messages, your directories. You can also forward your phone, turn your do not disturb on and off, and access your settings. Within settings, you'll find things like contrast, preferences, those sort of things. Under forward, 
can hit your arrow key, press one for call forwarding always, and enter in the number you wish to forward to. Then click enable. Forwarding is now turned on. To turn it back off again, you'd come over, forwarding, and repeat the process in reverse. Let's talk quickly about the remaining buttons on your phone. Again, we've talked about your soft keys. We've talked about the keys at the top and how you can use them for speed dials, your menu button, your dial pad, which accesses your call logs. Below that, you'll see your headset button. This will turn your headset on and off if you have a headset plugged in. You can plug a headset into the bottom of the phone. You also have your speakerphone button to access your speakerphone to turn it on and turn it off. This is your mute button. This will mute if you were on a speakerphone. It would mute that. If you were on your handset, it would mute that. And if you're on your headset, it would mute that as well. At the bottom of the phone, you find your volume controls. These are multi-use. To access your ringing volume, when not on a call, just adjust the volume. When you're on your handset, you can adjust your handset volume, headset, headset volume, and on your speakerphone, your speakerphone volume. At the very front of the phone, at the bottom underneath, you'll find a small hole. That hole is the speakerphone microphone. Please be careful that you don't have things tucked up against it, as people sometimes report poor call quality as a result. We'd like to take this time to say thank you for using a Vodacall phone, and we hope that this demonstration has helped. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to your project manager or reach us at support.vodacall.com. Thanks again. Enjoy your phone.